れではいつもの人参を借りながら。今回の人参オカリナ歌口が違いますここから息を入れると音が出ますこんな形になりました Here's Swashbot 1. After I made this little guy, I built a much bigger one, and this is Swashbot 2.、Um, this guy, although it worked really well,、um, I really liked the movements.、Um, I felt like it kind of lost some of the charm and personality of this little guy. So I decided to make a third one. And so here's Swashbot 3. This、uh, white material here. Um, is a, a plastic kind of material.、Um, it's called shape lock. And what it is, it's these little、um, pellets, and you put it in boiling water, and you can kind of form it together. And、um, when it cools, it gets hard like this. But this is a really thin piece. I just put it around a water bottle, and、uh, you can slowly shape it into whatever form you, you need. I took an old printer and I took an old scanner and I combined them together.、Uh, I took apart several printer cartridges and I filled them up with the caramel color and then put it all together and it works.、Uh, the secret ingredient is really the cartridge、um, that is taken apart and the guts of it are taken out so that you can pour anything you like. And in this case, we are pouring liquid food coloring. It's actually just burnt sugar. And once you fill it up, you can stick it right into the machine and off it goes. Telstra Logistics was started、uh, in the late 1980s、uh, th- as an idea for a way to, to park in yellow zones without getting tickets. I realized that if, if I looked like I had a company and that I was doing something, that I could often get away with it. And、uh, it works for, by and large. So if you're going to start a fake company, you obviously you need a name. And the idea was to create a name that was、uh, going to sound kind of big and kind of official, but was sort of ambiguous enough that people wouldn't really know what I do. Um, and this is what I settled on, Telstar Logistics. This is actually,、uh, was originally the logo from a mutual fund in the 1950s that was specialized in nuclear power. I figured they weren't really going to be around anymore to come get me. So, part of the idea is to look like there's dozens of vehicles like this. And, and the key to that is, is this just a, sort of a big, long, random string of numbers. Yellow stripes sort of say, keep back, leave me alone. Flashing yellow lights really make it look like you sort of belong there. If, if you've got flashing lights, you, you must be official. So, the question people ask most often is, you know, does it work? You know, does this whole fake company thing work? And the answer is pretty much.、Uh, it often works、uh, with rent a cops or with security people who are kind of, you know, not really looking for trouble anyway. They're looking for an excuse not to have to do anything differently. One of the funniest things about this whole thing is that the best way 
to make Telstra Logistics work is to tell people right up front that it's fake. I've had the Coast Guard invite me to do things. I've had helicopter pilots let me go visit their air aircraft. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. It's just, you know, people like feeling like they're on the inside of a secret. And if you just tell the secret right away, they feel like they're insiders and they're more than happy to play along. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.